Phosphoric acid, phosphoric acid. Well, I know this. You learned in Miss Rampley's class. Morgan Freeman? Yes, it's me. Phosphoric acid is formed when phosphorus oxide reacts with water. As we can deduce, phosphorus oxide is a non-metallic acidic oxide, which means that it reacts with bases to form a salt and... If soluble in water, it will produce an acidic solution. So we can see from the chemical equation that phosphoric acid is formed because phosphorus pentoxide is an acidic non-metal oxide that is soluble in water. Yes. I remember that there were more acidic oxides. What are they? A similar acidic oxide is nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide is formed when nitrogen monoxide molecules are oxidized in the atmosphere. Nitrogen dioxide can react with water to produce nitric acid, which is an acid responsible for acid deposition. Yes, it's all coming back to me. Sulfur trioxide, carbon dioxide, silicon dioxide, and phosphorus pen... Aluminium really hurts. It's pronounced aluminum. I say it the way I want to say it, and I want to say aluminium. Okay, okay, call it whatever you want. But do you know where the aluminum in soda cans comes from? No. Why should I know? I drink the coke and then throw the can. It's actually quite interesting. Aluminum is made from alumina, or aluminum oxide. I know about oxides. Ms. Rampi taught us all about them. Then do you know whether aluminum oxide is acidic or basic? It's not acidic or basic. It's amphoteric. Very smart. You deserve an A in chemistry. I agree. Do you know why aluminum oxide is amphoteric? Yes, it's amphoteric because it has some properties of acidic oxides and basic oxides. As an amphoteric oxide, it reacts with acids and bases to form salts. That's correct. Here are some examples where aluminum oxide reacts with acids and where aluminum oxide reacts with bases. Yes, yes, yes. That glass is very interesting. What about that glass? I just spilled coke trying to fill it. You have no brain. Good luck in IB chemistry. Wait, how is it related to chemistry? You idiot. Glass contains sodium oxide. I thought glass was made from sand. Yes, that's correct. Glass is made up of around 70% silicon dioxide, which is an acidic oxide, but it also contains sodium oxide, which is basic. But I learned previously that basic oxides react with water to form basic solutions. So sodium oxide would react with water to form sodium hydroxide. That's correct. But when making glass, sodium oxide is used as a fluxing material. What's a fluxing material? A fluxing material is a material that reacts with other materials to reduce the melting point. Sodium oxide by far is the best fluxing material. It is used in glass making to reduce silica's really high melting temperature. I remember that basic oxides react with acids to form salts. So when sodium oxide reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid, a sodium chloride solution is formed. 
That's also correct, but that's not seen when making glass.